Hello there, Ben here at BVE, back with Avid, and I'm joined now by Emma from Mentor and Sunset and Vine. Nice to see you, Emma. Thank you very much. Um, I want to talk to you in particular uh, about a programme you've been working on recently, uh, but we'll get to that in a minute. Tell us a little bit about, about your job role at Mentor and Sunset and Vine. Um, well, I've been at Mentor, I was at Mentor for, as a production manager for about yep. three or four years, and um, in that time I production managed a number of file-based or tapeless productions for Sky, all HD. Yep. And in the last six months, I've taken up a new role across Mentor and Sunset and Vine as Head of Production Technology. So moving them all HD, moving them all tapeless, okay. moving them all into the new the new world. The new era, concentrating yeah. on that workflow. Exactly. Uh, but one show particularly recently, uh, a fave of mine, I'm not just saying that, uh, Cole Pilkington's An Idiot Abroad, which you work very closely on, and particularly with the workflow. You want to tell us a bit about it? Well, we, uh, it was actually commissioned about a couple of years ago, actually. Um, but we decided it was a fully HD production for Sky One HD. And we, we started shooting, and we, we basically decided to shoot on XD Cam HD and on XD Cam EX that we'd previously used before. But we wanted to keep everything file based across the entire production. Sure. So, in doing so, we worked with Evolutions, who helped us. Um, we were on Avid with Evolutions, and they helped us basically work out uh, the best workflow using that. Now, at the time, we weren't using version 5. Okay. Um, but halfway through our production, version 5 came out and yep. Evolutions upgraded to version 5, which yep. meant that AMA, we could start using a lot more of the AMA work. You find that easier because a lot of people say never upgrade in the middle of a project. We we actually only had, I think we only had one program in the bag at the time and okay. we had eight to make. Yep. So it, it was, was a, it was a big switch. decision to make, but we decided that our editors were so keen, jumping up and down <laughs> to be able to uh -huh. use version 5 that we decided that actually it would really help, especially with its support of X XD Cam yeah. EX and, and all the native, being able to edit natively instead so, rather than having to transcode. 5.5, uh, that, that was then. This is now the release of fi uh, sorry, 5, 5.5 released this week uh -huh. and supporting uh, third-party hardware with the IO Express box, which I know you're a bit of a fan of. Well, it's really quite exciting for us, really, because we now... The, the squeezing of budgets and the squeezing of schedules because of the squeezing of budgets mean that the onus is on the producer so much more to try and do an assembly edit before they actually get into the edit. Edit time, offline time has become very expensive compared to the rest of the budget because everything's going down. So the key thing is for people to be edit on laptops or edit on desktops to be able to do that. Being able to ingest input and output yeah. using an IO Express using Avid will mean that we'll be able to make a lot more production efficiencies by getting our producers to cut down their material and only really make them take work in. harder. Exactly, make them work exactly. Harder. Crack that whip. And cost effective for you as well. Very much so. Rather than having to go in an expensive edit suite yeah. with an expensive editor, we keep that time to a minimum where we really need to make the creative process. But actually chopping out all the stuff that we know we definitely don't need yeah. will be a lot easier now. Exactly. Wonderful. Emma, thank you very much for joining us. My pleasure. We'll see you later.